with pick 210 in the 2019 mock it up before you fuck it up. We got Robbie Adams on the board with the first pick. Jason took Hakeem Butler and has been getting smashed on YouTube for it. <laughs> He's as, trash. As we said, he would. <laughs> I don't if, care. If I'll you pull actually, down my underwear. If you actually listen to the thing without just looking at the, the name on the thing, we ex- explained that we knew you were going to get trashed and we like the guy and we're playing a game about a game, blah, blah, blah. Right. <laughs> 210, who you got? Well, I think this was the guy that I was angling for outside of Jace. And I was glad he didn't take him because then I could take him. I feel comfortable taking Justice Hill. Yeah. I think I think it's a good it's a good stab there. Well, I'm picking for Robbie Adams, which is Robbie Adams' team name. Another terrible name for this, this league that we're mocking yeah, up. Yeah, this is going to be a new rule that you got to mock up your names before you put them out here. Yeah. <laughs> a rookie mock it up name draft. <laughs> uh, but So he's got Saquon Barkley, and that's about it. Like, I don't even know who he's playing in his second RB spot. Like, I guess Adrian Peterson. Well, that's what he was getting away with last year. Right. And so he just, I'll take any running back that's on the board at this point. But, I mean, Justice Hill is pretty intriguing. Well, he's got the Tahoe, Royce Freeman. He does have Royce Freeman, and maybe he gets maybe he gets some run this year. And if you're wondering why you're listening to us right now, it's because we told you to take a lot of guys ahead of Royce Freeman last year. <laughs> that's exactly why you're listening. I mean, we liked Royce, but we needed to make sure that all the other good running backs were gone first, for sure. Touche. Uh so I, I like Justice Sill. He's a twitchy, explosive athlete, little small. Did weigh in at 198 at the Combine, came into college at 171, so he worked his way up to, to getting stronger. I like that. He's a bit he's, of a cutter. He's definitely a cutter. He likes to dance. Cut, he dances, the cut and the spin move. He dances a little bit too much, which is hard for me to say as a guy who loves to dance. Uh, <laughs> he spent the first part of his childhood dancing. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Still looking for that picture of Jay Wayne in a leotard. Oh, there's one. There's no one. picture of me in a leotard, okay? Sure there is. No. There's got to be one. We're about <laughs> to dig that thing absolutely up. absolutely one. They're outfits. There's no leotards. <laughs> so if you got that class, that group photo, and Jay Wayne's in it from back when he was little wearing leotards, just go ahead and upload that thing to our Twitter. There's no the leotards. Sequence outfit? Sure, please. All right, look. On. There might have been sequins on <laughs> something. But it was the top piece. It wouldn't have been the bottom piece, which I think is a good Well, you can't be out there with no flair. Yeah. <laughs> No, I mean you gotta you gotta sparkle. Uh, anyway, back to Justice Hill for the YouTube listeners. Good jazz hands. Uh, he's a tough guy, but he's not a grinder. Uh, he's got good contact balance. Contact balance for sure. Drink cuts on cuts on cuts. He's looks good like contact Edward, balance. Edward scissor hands. Stronger lower half than you would think. I think. Yeah, I mean leading he, to the contact balance. He bench. He he uh, deadlifts a lot. Squat squats a lot too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> too. <laughs> he's a patient guy. I think he shows exhibits good patience behind the line of scrimmage, and uh, he's got a really good start and stop ability. So he's he's twitchy. He's an athlete. I think it plays well into what the Ravens want to do in in a, in a running back situation where he's going to be in the shotgun, having to start from zero. And uh, you know the the receiving ability is intriguing. It wasn't like off the charts. I don't think he's quite a finished product yet, but he did have thirty one balls caught in two thousand seventeen. I don't love the pass protection. Yeah, it's, which it's, there's a lot of olaying, a lot is, of whiffing. Yeah, and it's I don't I don't it's good it's good fit for him because he's not going to have to I don't think do too much pass protecting. Lamar can get out on his own. Yeah, but he is a hard worker. His coaches and teammates spoke very highly of him. So I mean, he's going to put in the effort. I, I, yeah. I feel comfortable about him not just relying on his athletic ability, which he obviously has. Just look at the combine. So. You know, you're late here in the second round and you're looking for some running back help or maybe yeah. you got Mark Ingram or, or you know, uh, Gus Edwards or well, sure. whatever. This is a solid swing to take and, and maybe he doesn't make it to 210 in most drafts. Uh, he, he's usually one of the, the later guys in the second round. Yeah. Um, I definitely, you and I, Jay, we both kind of had him further down the, the uh, running back list pre-draft uh, out of the top 10 for the most part. Yeah. Um, I do like where he landed, though. Much like Singletary, who right. probably wasn't outside of the top 10 for us. but Just about. Um, but the, the landing spot was good. It's a team that we know, at least for a year, maybe two, is going to have a plan to run the ball. Run and the he, shit out of He the gives ball. them 
something that they didn't have. He's something different than all the other running backs that they have, which I really like, which I think gives him a spot on the field. Um, and you get the quickness of Lamar Jackson and the you saw him be a great spark athlete at the combine. And he has some some good stuff on the field uh, on tape. So I, I, I like the landing spot. It definitely boosted him up a couple of spots for sure. me where where he ended up landing. I think this could be, you know, you got Ingram in there being being the main guy and probably Justice Hill being the the 1B. I think Justice Hill's going to get plenty of run and we'll probably have some, you know, uh, standalone starting value uh, throughout the season here. So Right, yeah. for a guy just screaming for some RB2 help. Right. Sure, exactly. And that's... If you need a an RB two or that you know think not saying he's going to be a great RB two right, but I think right. he can he's, fit he's, in there a little he, bit. This dude's screaming for it. Like and he has said, home run ability. Saquon and nobody else. He does have home run ability. Although not a ton of big gas plays though. In a big yeah. time running back heavy offense, and to double down on that, you know what the Ravens are going to do. And yeah, maybe Lamar Jackson's fra- could be frail if if squared up and hit correctly. They got RG three, right there. Yeah, they are literally saying this is our, this is what we're gonna do, and we got a backup plan that could do the exact same thing. Yeah. So like the 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 future of Justice Hill in the next two years in that offense, we know how running backs get hurt. He could be the one A after week three, or you know it could be, oh boy, you know Mark Ingram could tough it out all year long, and our and Justice Hill could be barely flex starter at the end of the you know if you needed him. I think they're going to run it so much that they're going to need. I agree with that, and I think and 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 as much as I like Kenny D, but I think Justice just gives you a different dimension. Right. Well, Kenny D, I think is out there free agent land. He's talking to the Saints. Um. So I Did think they cut him. It must have because they. I heard something today that Kenny D was talking to the Saints, which would uh be fantastic for his value going over to the saints um so anyway yeah i like the justice hill pick here for a team that desperately needs a running back um obviously uh you you still got our boy benny snails out there you could have been juggling those two guys back and forth but given the offense and the run heaviness the justice hill is going to be on the field um and could give you that rb2 plug-in when you're just stabbing for somebody that would be a better plug-in than like say the old school theoretic yeah. type player yeah i agree not finding anything on uh no it says he could be on the move but he's still under contract unless they i didn't see that they cut him so kenny d that is kenny dixon no all right rumored to be oh you know what that my bad i screwed you guys up that's buck allen buck Mm. allen talking to the saints today javari my bad my bad buck allen talking to the saints today that's an og here at marion to the game Buck Allen's been getting run for years. Anytime Buck Allen's talking to a team that likes to throw it to the running backs, Big Co's signing him right up. Yeah. Kenny D, only 25, got another year left with the Ravens. Love Kenny D. All right. Anyway. Love Buck Allen, too. Let's get to this next pick.